Hello again and welcome to another Mordian Glory Bolt Action Battle Report. Today we are going to be playing an 1000 point game. It will be the Germans versus the Commandos. We're going to be doing something a little bit different today. Rather than playing a mission from the main rulebook, we're actually going to be trying out one from the Operation Market Garden campaign, which actually looks really, really cool. But before we get into that mission, let's take a look at what both players are bringing in their armies today. Today we find ourselves in Commando James's battle bunker and unsurprisingly he has bought the Royal Marine Commandos. I know I make this joke every time James but you do know there are other factions out there. Yeah but none worth playing. <laughs> ah there we go, there we go. So where do you want to start today James? Uh, we'll start with HQ which is the officer at the front, the little chap with the binos. Oh and yeah. He has, um, he has five guys with him so that essentially makes up... Um, Five squads of six guys, um, all anti tank grenades apart from the LMG squad, which is the second squad. Okay. Um, they've got two Bren guns. I've got the free artillery observer. Is that this a, chap here with the yes. with the knife hand? Very good, yeah. very good. So he's so you've got you've got five you've got six squads of six is that it or five squads of six? Five total, squads of six, including the command section. Yes. Oh, very cool, very cool. Okay. So it sort of negates that like officer HQ tax for having a better mm. infantry. Yeah, hundred uh, percent. And again, you've got the commando light mortar team. Yeah. Which means that they have tough fighter, which is really cool. Uh, just a little too much to turn around. <laughs> I mean, if they're getting into combat, something's gone horribly wrong. But yeah, carry on. <laughs> well, that's what heard of. Uh, yeah, uh, not... A regular uh, 25-pounder. 25 25-pounder, quarter-pounder. The quarter, yeah, it is a 25-pounder. I always call it the quarter-pounder and it throws <laughs> yeah, you off. With a spotter. And yep. on the right-hand side, I've got a Bren carrier, uh, which love its taxi on the right-hand side. And then the Sherman, uh, which is the, a regular Sherman, uh, with its... Uh, with its gun and nice the flail there are rules for a flail uh, I've not paid for it and I'm not using it that's okay I've bought some side skirts my pants are full <laughs> and I'm not paying for them that's fine okay so why don't you take us through what's in each one of these squads so this one at the front is going to be your uh, officer section yeah, just, just WYSIWYG and then this one this guy with binoculars here um, who I thought was your officer is actually your spotter yeah yeah I've yeah. got it okay cool 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 so this is the this is the command section at the front and you've got some Tommy guns in there yeah so that's a mix of uh, SMGs and rifles. Again, the three rifle shots of doom uh, with some SMGs as well. The only one that's not set up like that is uh, the one with the Bren gun team in it. Yeah. Uh, so it's two Bren guns with loaders and the wow, NCO and guns. the other guy as well. It's got another guy's got a rifle. Again, just if you get them in twenty four inch range, you get extra two shots, but it's really just there for uh, LMG support. Mm. And then. Uh, the one at the back can just point. It's got four rifles and two SMGs. Right, okay. So you've got four rifles, two SMGs at the back, and you've got three SMGs, two rifles, three SMGs, three rifles, uh, machine gun section, and then three SMGs, two rifles, but it is yeah. the command section. Okay, very nice. This is actually quite a lot of infantry for you. Um, yeah. and well, I know you normally don't run any vehicles, but um, the fact that you've been able to squeeze in your favorite amount of infantry and your sort of uh your favorite commandos as well there's a lot of veterans here and you've still been able to take some armor support this is a uh, this is quite a spicy list james i do i do like it um now one thing i do want to mention is that you actually did earn coolest army with this uh with this army at the recent Black action event um so yeah i mean that's a that's a award you've been going after for a while now so it was a pretty good getting that yeah it's a pretty good feeling uh, and i just like to say thanks to barry evans at uh, uh, mfp painting uh which is miniature painting uh, i just went to a course for him and he taught me how to, to air, use airbrush and that's what i did on the on the sherman there yeah and it's it's really cool and if you could afford to go and get some tuition from barry i would re thoroughly recommend it in stoke on trent it's absolutely fantastic two days and i learned so much yeah, but I'm 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 a big I I personally believe that it probably was the Sherman tank that did score you that uh, that cause army because not only is it you know a Sherman flail tank but also look at the uh, different shades on there man it looks it looks awesome so that is Commander James with his commandos and they will be facing off against the Germans so let's take a look at that list now and here we have a thousand points of Germans now I've taken just a generic reinforced platoon today in fact both me and James have we like to try and keep things simple and straight down the middle and in my list I have taken 
a squad of 10 Volks Grenadiers. I love Volks Grenadiers. They're so cheap. They come with assault rifles. And whilst they start off as inexperienced, if you get a couple of lucky dice rolls, you may end up with a free veteran squad, which is just really nice. Um, backing up those 10 inexperienced troops, we have got 10 regular troops. These are just Grenadiers, and I've put an LMG in each squad. Again, I really like these little five-man LMG squads because, yes, they're a little bit more expensive than uh, an MMG team, but if these guys get sniped, they lose one guy and the four riflemen can still run around being a nuisance. If an MMG team gets sniped, then the whole thing goes away. So that's why I like to take these little five-man squads. We've then gone for a big 10-man chonky squad of veterans. We've got 10 inexperienced, 10 regular, and 10 veterans. These are just uh, here Grenadier veterans. I've gone for six SMGs. I decided, you know what? I never treat myself to a fully loaded up squad. And I thought, you know what, I'll do it today. So we've got six uh, veterans with SMGs, a sergeant and one extra man with an STG. And then we've just got two basic riflemen in there. Uh, this force is led by a second lieutenant. So nothing too fancy, but because he is a German second lieutenant, he can do two uh, snap two orders rather than just one, which is very nice. Uh, and then we've gone for the medium mortar with a spotter. Can't leave home with that out that. It's just a, it's a classic unit. Uh, we've gone for something a little bit different, though. This is where we start getting a bit spicy. Uh, we have gone for a heavy anti-tank gun. This is the uh, Pac-75. Now, normally, I'm a medium anti-tank gun kind of guy, but when I saw that uh, James had a Pac-75, I was like, you know what? i got to try that bad boy out. Um, considering I am the attacker in the scenario, it's not exactly the best choice, but um, it's fun, so we'll just see how it goes. Uh, I've then got a truck and a uh, Hannah Mag. The truck will be for transporting the Volks Grenadiers around. They don't get nice transportation. And the uh, Hannah Mag will be for the Grenadiers because obviously I want to protect my, uh, my veteran assets as well as possible. And last but certainly not least, we have got the Panzer IV. I, I just love the Panzer IV. I, I'm actually probably more of a, a Panzer III fan but I still have a very special place in my heart for the for the Panzer IV. It's just a good all-round tank. It's a medium tank. It gets a heavy anti-tank gun, which uh, makes it good at anti-infantry and at dealing with allied armor. And of course, it gets a couple of machine guns as well. So you just you can't go wrong with a Panzer IV or a Panzer III. But today, I thought, you know what? I'll try out one of James's Panzer Panzer IVs. Um, in fact, all of these models that we're using today are James's. So um, he's done a fantastic job on both of these armies. Uh, so looking forward to getting them out on the tabletop. So what we'll do now, guys, is we'll come back after we've done deployment. We'll go through the scenario and, uh, and then we'll start doing first turn. So today we are playing scenario 21 from the Operation Market Garden campaign book. The narrative behind this scenario is the Allies are trying to get um, supplies and reinforcements down the main arterial road. And the Germans are trying to cut that and cause the, uh, the troops at the front lines to wither and die. Going over the mission specific details, the Germans and the Allied troops can bring anything they want in terms of you know, relevant force selector and troop options. They're not limited to, let's say, you know, the Allies can only take light vehicles and stuff like that. So you've got free reign with the forces um, that you want to pick and put in your army. The Germans can have a three to two ratio in terms of points values. We've not done that today. Um, some people in what action do like to try and give the attacker a bit of an advantage um in the in the in the points because it means they are attacking a fixed position but in this scenario as you'll see later on the allies are going to have to hold out for a long time with a small part of their force before their reinforcements arrive and so if i had 1500 points just dunking on james's 500 or something or 300 it would be just ridiculous so we've not we've not done that today it is it is optional um in terms of the setup the board is meant to be flat yet dense terrain and we'll go over the board in just a moment you can see that's what we've achieved and then for deployment the germans uh come in in a first wave or a second wave or reserve basically i don't deploy anything on the board but my units come in uh, straight away i'll probably end up doing most of my army in in first wave, but I might have some of my armored assets uh, chilling out in the uh, in the second or even third wave to see what happens with uh, with James's reinforcements. Uh, the objective is fairly simple. The Germans are trying to cut the road, so to achieve that, I need to have three units in the middle of the board, uh, within twelve inches of the center of the board, um, and they have to have no pin markers on them. If I achieve that, then I win the game. If I don't achieve that, then I have failed to set up the roadblock. I have failed to cut the the arterial highway, highway, and the uh, and the Marines will win. 
In terms of the game duration, it is a six turn game. If we get to the end of turn six and the Germans have not completed their objective, then we roll a dice on a one to three. The game continues for another two turns. If on a four plus, uh, the game ends and the commandos would win. If it gets to the end of turn eight and the Germans still haven't been able to get three unpin units into the middle of the board, then uh, the, the allies have won. So it is, it is, um, it is potentially a tricky one for both sides. So obviously I have to just remain, I could just go in there and just try and rally everything at the end of turn six and try and get the victory. Um, but if, uh, but you know, at the same time, James can just, he doesn't actually have to kill anything. He can spread his fire out and just single pin, a single pin on a single unit could potentially win in the game. Um, but that is the, that is the mission. That is the scenario. That is the setup. So what we'll do now, guys, is we will go to the field of battle after deployment and we'll take a look at this map. So here we have the field of battle. As you can see, we have a road starting here, winding its way through the center of the board, going over the bridge and ending here. That is the main arterial route for the mission today. Um, the commandos have found themselves in the center, in it really in the thick of it here. And James has decided to go for an infantry heavy force to defend the center of the board. I think that's a very smart choice uh, because James has to come on with his reinforcements on this end and this end, which means if he had his infantry trying to sprint down the middle of the board, that would be take him a long time and he doesn't have a lot of long range firepower. Whereas the Germans, they're gonna be coming in on this side and this side. And so that means that I'll be coming in and both sides should be relatively in close range of each other from the, from, uh, from the off, which is good for all these SMG armed troops. Got a light mortar in there as well, just for a little sprinkling of fire support. So that is where the commandos are. That's where the road is. As you can see for the terrain, we've got some forests and some light cover around here. Got a little bit of a uh, hook going on there. Of course, the river, we're, gonna, we're not going to count the river as, as impassable. We're going to count it as, uh, as essentially like rough terrain. So you can you can uh, move half speed essentially uh, through it and you can't, you can't run through it. You've got to wade through it. We will, however, say that the vehicles will need to use the... Uh, We'll need to use the bridge if that makes sense. And uh, I think the, the, the trucks and the Hannah Mag can go over here, but we'll say the Panzer IV, if it ever does decide to go to the bridge, it's going to have to go over there. Likewise, James, you'll need to bear that in mind for your uh, Bren carrier and your Sherman. Um, if you had like the, the DD tank Sherman, I'd be like, yeah, go nuts, go through the water, man, not a problem. Um, so this will be, we've got a compound over here. This will be some, uh, some hard cover here. And likewise, we'll have... These sandbag walls, there's hard cover as well. Hedges will be light cover, and that can be a bit of hard cover in the, if you're in the in, if you're in that building proper there. So you can see, guys, we have gone for uh, you know it's quite as as described in the scenario. It's quite flat terrain. We've got not got any like massive hills everywhere. We've got a few uh, raised points, but it is very dense. I mean, there's loads and loads of hedges. These are all kinds of light cover as you're moving up and around the board. So there is lots of cover on here, but there's not a huge amount of line of sight blocking. But I think you, uh, all the units should have at least some kind of a, a sort of light cover or soft cover to, uh, to take advantage of. So that is the that's the field of battle. Um, just want to say, guys, that James actually uh, hand built all of these boards, all of this terrain. These aren't. This isn't a battle map, guys. This is proper. You can hear the scratch. That is proper uh, tactile board. James put all of these together. Um, uh, uh, many many summer projects. Many hours has gone into this board. My personal favorite bit. Um, you've got more. You've got more of these boards, haven't you? Yeah. Um, they're, they're, they're quite modular. So you, if we're like, oh, you know what, we want to use the river today. We, we, or we don't want to use it today. We can take it out if we like. You know what, we'll put the river in the centre of the board. We can do that. So it's really cool. And I have to say, the river is definitely my favourite bit with all of the wave effects and everything. Like it's just really cool. This is all, uh, this is all resin, guys. Um, so yeah, I just want to say, if you if you enjoy this kind of board, make sure you say lots of nice things down in the comment section because this very much is a labour of love for James. Um, all right. So you know what we'll do? We'll uh, we'll start um, putting pulling some dice and doing first turn. So here we are, first turn. James is going to be bagman for today as I am filming. So James, would you like to pull the first dice out and see who it's going to be? Yes, it is commando dice. Now green dice are commando dice and silver dice will be German dice. So uh, I'm going to start the bullshit going down. Well, you could go on ambush. Could do, but um, I think I, I, might want, I might not necessarily want to shoot you. You can always go to switch your ambush to a down if it doesn't go the way you'd like it to go. So it gives you the best of both worlds. 
And if that's wrong, well, we'll play it that way today. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that is right, though. You can always go down if you want to. We'll start on that. I'm putting that much on. Then I'll yeah. get my bullshit down later. Okay, so that's the first dice. Exciting one. Breakneck pace. Oh, it's another commando it's dice. Another commando one. Oh, oh, oh. Bolt action is a, is a fast paced game of adventure. Oh, and it's another ambush. It's another ambush. <laughs> I'm only taking the piss. <laughs> it's going to be another ambush. It's another it's ambush. He's going again. There are great, the silver dice in there, aren't there? I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> there you are. There we go. Silver dice. Now, these are actually some dice that um, Warlord Games gave to us as part of the prize pot for last ball action event I ran. And you, uh, that was one of the things you got for winning uh, Coolest Army. Very nice. Um, now, I am in first wave, guys. Um, and I am, uh, like I said, I'm going to have, I should have I declared what's in first wave and what's not. I'm going to have my tank and my. Um, Panzer, I call them Panzer Grenadiers, my veterans, they're going to be in the second wave and everything else will come in first wave. Excellent. So um, I think I mentioned that before, but I thought I'll just specify exactly what it is now. Um, so I am just going to simply uh, go down. No, I'm joking. I'm going to, I am going to bring in, um, I'm going to bring in a mortar. Excellent. And I'm going to bring it on your side of the board and I'm going to put it behind that building. So we'll be back once I've done that. So I have brought my mortar on here. It's hiding behind uh, this building. I gave it the run order because, of course, as a, as a fixed team weapon, it has to run to, to come on. Uh, so it won't be firing this turn, but hopefully it will start laying in some rounds into the commandos in other turns. So, James, do you want to uh, bring in your next dice? Well, it might be yours. It might be my go. Yeah. But it is. It is. Okay. Ambush for the old uh, mortar, maybe? Yeah, it is. Ambush. It just gives you the... The best sort of options, you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, so we have the next dice. I think this will be quite a rapid turn one. It is the Germans. All right. I am going to bring in a five-man squad. And I am going to have a little think about where I want to bring in. But it will be a five-man squad of regulars. Okay, so the five-man unit of Grenadiers has come in here, took themselves behind this barricade. Now, we're saying because we're not within the buildings properly, uh, and we're not, you know, on top of the building or behind this wall here, we're just going to count this barricade as light cover for the Germans. So um, I will be firing my... Because I have advanced, it means I'll be moving onto the board and shooting, and I'm going to fire into these uh, commandos here. Now, James, are you triggering your ambush? I'm going to trigger my ambush at you. Okay, so switch that to a fire dice... There we go. And you will get three rifle shots, and we have uh, worked out the modifiers off camera, and you'll be hitting me on fives. No. It hasn't got a hit. Now, that was that was important, because it would have meant that you would have put me on to hitting on sixes, followed by sixes, whereas now with my LMG, I am just hitting you on sixes. So it will be moved and hard cover. I am within half range. So sixes. Nope, nothing for me. Um, and then I've got... Uh, Three rifles as well. One for the sergeant, two other regular blokes. No, nope, they needed sixes followed by sixes anyway because of the long range. So nothing. So we've just peppered a few shots at each other. Showed a bit of willing, but no one's really going to uh, poke the head out too much so far. All right, let's pick the next dice. They're firing, sir. They're firing. Yes, they tend to do that, George. <laughs> <laughs> Another German dice. Okey croaky. I'm gonna go for a, another squad of um, of 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 my men, and I'm gonna go probably on this side again and try and pepper some more shots into you. So we'll deploy those, and we're back in just a moment. Okay, and the next squad of grenadiers has come in here. As you can see, we're setting up a bit of a fire base. We've got the mortar, and we've got the two grenadier squads. Should just mention, you might be thinking, if you're a bot actor player, I'm thinking, Morgan, how is that? How is that mortar gonna see anything? My spotter is just there. In fact, it's almost impossible to see him. He's so well camouflaged. Let me bring you around this side, guys. There he is. It wasn't part of the scenery. It's a man. So he is going to be... We did, we did spotters off camera, just so you guys know. Um, so, but before... But it's not the time for spotters now, James. It is the time for the machine gun. So I will be firing uh, my stuff into your commanders over here. Of course, you get to trigger your ambush first. So, oh, DJ, I'm, spin that dice. I am going to shoot at you. Okay. Gun. Yeah. There we go. Now this time you have four rifle shots. The one with four rifles. Damn suppressive fire! This damn. You keep yeah, calling them nice. shot rifle shots of doom. We'll see if you say it enough, it becomes true. It certainly will. Right, four rifle shots of doom. 
Hey! Yeah, there you go. And you will kill me on a four? No. no. But that pin is important because it now means all of my shots are sixes followed by sixes. So we've got the LMG. Because I've got a pin on me, guys, it'll be pin, moved, hard cover for the commandos. Uh, one possible. This is where I really upset James by getting <laughs> it anyway. No, sadly not. So nothing from the LMG. And then the the riffles. One possible. Come on, lads, showing a bit of willing. Ah, no, sadly not. So nothing there. But we have set ourselves up for a nice position for the following turns. And, of course, James has helpfully put a little pin marker there. Okay, uh, a couple of cool little activations. A bit of fire being exchanged. Let's see what the next dice is. It's me. It is the... Nothing else to do other than go down. Go down. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. Because you're going down... And I've just got a couple of little bits to bring in. We'll do the rest of the turn off camera and we'll be back if anything exciting happens or with yep. a little summary. Okay, and so we have got to almost the end of turn one, but we've got a little bit of an exciting scenario here. I decided it was time to go all gas, no brakes, and I brought my truck on um, and I got my Volks Grenadiers out of it. And I said, you know what, I can, I can move the truck 12 inches, I can advance out of, the, out of the vehicle 6 inches, that's what I'm going to do. That's where we've ended up now. I thought, you know what, I'll lay my fire into, uh, into this little light mortar team because it will then allow me to bring my heavy anti-tank gun on over here without the risk of it getting ambushed. And also I might take a dice out of the bag for James. Now James ummed and out over what he wanted to do and he's like, you know what, I'm going to go, I'm going to go down. Um, which meant I was able to, you know, slightly out of sequence, but it meant that we were able to bring that on, um, you know, and uh, without the risk of getting ambushed. Uh, we didn't actually expect the Volks Grenadiers to do anything because they were hitting on sixes followed by sixes, but we got the hit and we got the wound. It actually rolled three sixes in a row, which is uh, quite spicy. And uh, I actually was able to kill one. And now James has to take a leadership test because he is only a two man team. If you take half casualties in one go, you've got to take a leadership test. So, James, leadership at leadership nine. Thanks for that pin. No, oh no, no. they're gone. Volk's gonna deers have done what they Volk's gonna deers are on the line and they have come in and they have managed to kill the commando like mortar. Now, that was a little bit of fun, that was a bit cheeky. I wasn't really expecting that to go off. It's kind of cool that it did though, but uh, let's be honest here, guys. Uh, they're inexperienced and they're veteran tough fighters. This is only really gonna go one way. <laughs> But we'll see how it goes in the uh, in turn two. So we'll put the dice back in the bag. We've had that is for us, I think, quite an active turn one. Yeah. Normally, turn one and two, me and James do like one or two casualties to each other. Very subdued. Yeah, but we're, we're we're having a bit of a spicy meatball today. All right, we'll be back in turn two. Okay, James is giving that bag a good old shake. Do you want first size? He really game? wants first size. We've just talked this out off camera. Basically, James wants to go with this squad first, and then he can charge into the Volks Grenadiers. I wouldn't be able to overwatch because I'm too close, and he'd get a chance to beat them up whilst they're still inexperienced. If he tries to soften them up with another unit, he might kill them, and because they have the mixed quality rule, they might become regular, or they could even become veteran, which he really, really doesn't want that. So he needs to, he needs to wipe them out in one go. James has picked the dice. Pick the dice. And it is the Germans. Ah, oh, it's the Germans! So for me, this is, this, is, this is fairly easy. I'm actually going to just go for um, an advance order here. And I'm going to move up, essentially, to uh, my guys to be behind that wall. And then I'm going to dack it into your squad. So you can go down. Um, you'll probably, to be honest, it's going to be a bit gnarly because I'll be in point blank. I'll probably be able to fire over the cover with some of my guys. Yeah. So you might have light cover against some, but it's mostly going to come down to that, that down roll. Go down. Okay, so take your dice out of the bag, go down, we'll move my guys where they need to go, um, and then, of course, uh, we'll be back. Don't forget, I am an experience as well, so even the assault rifles will be hitting you know, relatively badly. But we'll move them in, we'll get the dice together, and we'll see what damage these STG 44s can do. Okay, so we have moved them forward. We've worked out as best as we can. Half of the squad are within um, point blank range and within range of the cover. So they will just fire straight over that barricade and the uh, Marines won't get the soft cover there. And the other five are not within um, the range of the barricade. So James will get some light cover from that, that hedge there. So the, what, how it works out, guys, is we've got, we've got three SDGs that are going to be hitting on fives once you take into account 
point blank, down, and inexperienced. Oh, nothing! They were the ones I really needed to go off. That is that is a problem. And then with the other two guys that were with next to back, I've got rifles. Oh, they'll be hit on sixes because they moved. Nothing. Oh God, it's 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 happening. James is suddenly <laughs> feeling a lot uh, a lot less worried. Uh, then we've got two more STGs. Now these will be hitting on sixes because um, they'll be going over the light cover. No, nothing so far. And the last three shots actually will be hitting on sixes, followed by sixes, because it will be moved, it'll be light cover, uh, and it'll be down, um, and it'll be inexperienced, uh, even with the point blank. So six followed by sixes. So this is, of course, where I roll my first six, but will I roll a second six and it'd be extremely ironic? Let's find out. No, sadly not. So we haven't done any, we haven't even got a hit on those commandos, but we have managed to make them go down. And we are lined up on this barricade ourselves. So if James wants to come flying in with his commando daggers drawn, it will be an equal fight. We'll be fighting at the same time. So it's it's not that any damage, but it has certainly been a thorn in James's side. So uh, we'll be back in a moment with the next dice. Okay, we're about the next dice, James. What is it? It is a commando dice. It's a commando green dice. All right. Do you know what you're doing or do you want to have a little think? A little think, a little strategize. Okay, a little strategize. We'll be back in just a moment. After much cogitations, James decided to go Whoa! and charge in with his, uh, with his guys. So he is going for a straight up charge. On the on the vault square, is we owned the hard about should he go in ambush or anything, but he decided, you know what? Um, even though those vault square have been the, um, I'm probably just going to sit here and pepper him with some shots. So ambush wouldn't really do anything. He could go for a fire order, but then it doesn't allow him to go down if he needs it. So he's gone straight for a charge. Now we will be fighting at the same time here, good sir, kind sir. But you shall be killing me on threes, and I shall be killing you on fives. <laughs> but I have the greater numbers, which but doesn't mean a whole amount in bolt action close combat. Um, okay, so would you like to roll first, just just to see what you get? Yes. That's okay. Two. You've got two, but you are a tough fighter, so you get to roll two more. That becomes four. You do get to roll those two sixes again to see if you get to pick who you kill in my in my army. I do no. Not. So I will lose four riflemen, but they will still get to fight. Yes. It's not that wasn't a, that wasn't ideal. Was a lot. I've got my STGs now. These are also tough fighter. I've got one. Okay. Now I'll get an extra attack, and I've got two. Okay, okay. <laughs> and then I've got five rifles. Now these still get to fight because we're fighting at the same time because of that barricade. Oh, I've not quite done it. I've not quite done it. So I've killed three of the commandos. James has killed four of the Volks, which means he wins the combat, which means the rest of the Volks are wiped out. I did get a six though, so I will see if I can... Uh, Rifle, but your sergeant down. No, I cannot. So you get to pick. I imagine the three basic rifles, more than likely. Yeah. Um, so I will now remove my squad. Now, out of curiosity, out of curiosity, would how, would they have uprated? Let's see. Let's see what quality they were. Obviously, this doesn't matter, guys. This is just for fun. They would not. They would have been inexperienced. They were just, you know, Hitler Youth or you know other children that have been. They've lowered the age four and they've drafted them into the Volkswagen ideas. All right, well, we'll remove that. That whole squad is dead now. Um, I do quite, I did quite like that Billy Big Bollocks manoeuvre that I did. Um, and overall, it did essentially cause James to lose his light mortar team and three of his commandos. So that is that is five commandos to the cost of 10 volts, my dear. So yeah. not a bad trade. I think we both came out of that equally bloodied. Yeah. But we'll remove those models and we'll be back with the next dice. So after James did his special consolidation move, he has backed uh, round the uh, back of the terrain here. The reason for that is he did not want to get a heavy anti-tank gun to the face. Um, so James, pick the next dice. What's the next unit going to be? So an active game, this one. I quite like this scenario. It is me. It is you. Now, you only have one more unit left on the board. That's true. And it is that unit of commanders. Now, you don't need to go with them yet, but I have all of my army to come on this, this turn. So... Um, 
you might want to ambush. You might just want to be like, I might as well go down. If you fire, you might take a Panzer four to the face. Yeah, I think uh, I'm going to go and ambush. And if I can if... have to go down, I have to go down. Okay, that's fair enough. Now, the rest of your dice are essentially off the board because you can't yep. come in turn two in this scenario. So we will uh, basically be doing a lot of German dice now. So I might as well just keep going. Yeah. Um, so what I'm going to do is um, go for my um, uh, go for my squad over here first. See if they pass their order test. Oh, it's looking pretty high. Uh, they fail because of the um, of the pin, so they will go down. So take a dice out, put it down next to them, James. Yeah. Um, actually, don't worry about it. We know they've we know they've been. Uh, we'll go for my mortar next. Now a mortar is going to fire into uh, your um, ambush squad. We'll just have to double check the minimum range on the mortar, actually. So I do. I'll come back to those guys in a second. So we'll go for this squad, which is going to fire into the the down unit over here. Um, so that will be sixes followed by sixes because they've gone down in the heavy cover. So LMG, nothing. Three rifles, nothing. Okay. We've then got the big anti-tank gun. And the big anti-tank gun can see this squad here. I'm going to fire. Now, it's at this range, it will be just hard cover. So it'll just be a five. Going to go down, which is going to make it a six followed by a six. Was that the right move, James? Will I roll a five or six now? No. So you didn't need to go down, but you obviously you didn't know that until we'd... Uh, so he declared it. All right, so now it's time for me to start bringing things on. Now, bear in uh, actually, actually, I'm going to move my truck out of the way. Where the Volkswagen has failed, maybe the veterans will succeed. Might have to do the same maneuver again. We'll find out. Uh, we're going to fire. We'll fire. We'll, we'll do the officer next. He'll just move up to there. And then the he'll fire into them. It'll be, it won't be point blank. It'll just be um, short range. So it'll be heavy cover. Uh, so that will be fives. He has got a single hit, so a pin on a pin from there to there. And he needs to kill on a five. Um, no, no pin. Uh, the truck will move out of the way. So I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll uh, we'll do the rest of, because it's just going to be lots of little bits, we'll do the rest of my turn off camera. And if there's anything exciting that happens, we'll do that bit on camera. Where the Volkswagen idea failed, maybe the veteran grenadiers will succeed. Coming along in their Hanno Mag, they have advanced out and they've started taking the high ground. It is over! I have the high ground now! And uh, at the same time, their, their Hanno Mag was able to put a pin on the squad that's down here. But the grenadiers themselves were a little, little short of targets, so they were only able to shoot this down squad and they didn't get any hits. But uh, next turn, if I get the first dice, I am pouring over the top of that ridge, man. Um, the other exciting thing was the Panzer came down here. Now, I did think about using it to support this attack over here, but I thought that if I can put pressure on James from like proper aggressive pressure using you know vehicles and assault units on two, on two sides, it would uh, hopefully force these commandos to uh, to crumble. We'll have to see. Um, if the horns of the buffalo are closing in around him. Uh, so the Panzer hasn't fired yet. It has got an advance order. Uh, we are going to fire the main gun because you've got a big gun of the Germans. You've got to use it. And I am going to shoot it into this little three-man squad here. Now, they're going to have heavy cover and the Panzer will have moved, but that's it. So it's a six to hit with the, super, with the heavy anti-tank gun. Ah, oh, no, sadly not. We then do have a medium machine gun on the hull, which will be hitting on sixes followed by sixes. Nothing. Uh, so that is the that is the Panzer, but uh, there is going to be some tiger fear for you probably now, because obviously um, it's a late war Panzer IV. Mm -hmm. So that's something that we, do. we never normally remember tiger fear, but it might actually be useful in this game. The last thing to do, James, is... The mortar. We did check the minimum range. It is 12. All mortars have got a 12 inch minimum range, which is good to know. And we are going to lamp that mortar straight into this squad here. And we are going to need a six to hit. No! <laughs> Almost, but not quite. So we'll put that dice next to them so we know uh, what I'm ranging it on next turn. But that is turn two. The commandos have held against nearly the entire thousand point German army. And they've taken some casualties. They've lost a half a section, but they certainly have not lost every man. And now the commando reinforcements are on the way. Two more, two, three more squads? Two more squads. Two more squads. 
Two more squads, a Bren, an artillery piece, and a Sherman. That's some that's some good, strong reinforcements coming in. The commando is coming in with the steel chair. <laughs> so we'll be back in turn three. All right, into turn three. Rapid fire, rapid game. Let's see what the first dice is going to be of turn three. This is a big one. It is a commando dice. Very exciting. Now, James, you know what you're doing. Yeah, we're going to move this squad over in this direction. Before I can get my mortar off. Before you get your mortar off, but more importantly, sort of get it tucked away so I might be able to come at you with the anti-tank grenades. Now, you do know that you are going to have to take an order test because mm. of Tiger Fear. Which is most annoying. So basically, it is at minus one, an order test. Even if you haven't got any pins, it's still minus one. So leadership nine. Ooh, hey. There you go. So this dice is going to go away. We're no longer ranging in. James, I always get first dice. What are you playing at? <laughs> and, I know how it feels. Uh, yes, and then you're going you're gonna to come at me. Now, um, for those, just whilst James is moving those, I'm just going to go over anti-tank grenades for people. Essentially, if you don't have anti-tank grenades, um, it means that when you go to try and assault an enemy vehicle, you have to do so at minus three leadership, because essentially you're like... You know, how the hell are we meant to hurt this thing? If And also, even if you do make the assault, you can only ever do superficial damage to it. You only ever get a glancing hit. Um, so uh, so the advantage of anti-tank grenades, even though they are two points a man, so it's like you know, it's 12 points on this one squad, you do, uh, it means you can charge the tanks without having to worry about it. And it also means that when you actually get there, if you get enough hits, you can actually hurt the tank, which is pretty important. Um, James is... James, his principal way of killing tanks in, has historically been um, to charge them in combat. <laughs> He's killed a tiger that way, haven't you, with a big, yes. big pot of Marines once. So that is the first dice. I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll just keep it rolling. Let's see what the next dice is. When your only other option is a Piat, oh. the anti-tank grenades are a very viable option. Yeah. And to see, the Germans don't don't get... Um, it's another commando dice, by the way, guys. The Germans don't get... Um, they, we don't. We get anti-tank grenades, but you can't take Panzerfaust and anti-tank grenades. You've got to yeah, pick. But you'll take the Panzerfaust every time. Yeah. Do you know what you're doing or do you need to think? Uh, I think I'm going to try and bring in the quarter pounder. Okay, so bring in the quarter pounder. It's a 25 pounder. We always <laughs> call it the quarter pounder. The Royale with cheese. <laughs> uh, so you do... Uh, no, it's uh, second. It's second wave that has to come in third turn, so it just comes in. Oh, excellent. It just comes in. If that's wrong, we'll play it that way. Again, it doesn't matter too much. This is a custom-ish scenario, <laughs> an adaptation from the Market Garden book. So, But it, I think it does specifically say in the mission you don't need to roll a test for second wave and reinforcements because both you guys know what you're doing. Everyone's sure of what the orders are. So um, I'm pretty sure we've, we've got that right. So you're coming in there. Now, you can't shoot this turn. Yep. You know that. But he's tucking. He's tucking the old 25-pounder there. If for those of you that don't play Barks very much and you think about getting Brits, get a 25-pounder. Get a in my opinion, the best artillery piece in the game. It can fire as both a light anti-tank and a light howitzer, um, which is just fantastic to have that versatility. And it only costs five points more than taking a light anti-tank or a light howitzer. So it's really a no-brainer. Okay, so uh, we'll, uh, we'll tell you what, have a little cut there and we'll pull the next dice. Okay, coming in with the next dice, will James continue his, his flurry? No, it will be the Germans. All right, I, I, need, to, I need to shoot you. Yeah. I've decided, I need to shoot you. These guys, uh, they're a little hairy. I'm not going to lie, it's a little hairy. And you've, you've already moved them. Yep. So what I'm going to go for is, uh, I'm going to have to go for an advance because I can't shoot through my own incredibly well-hidden spotter, which still looks like a piece of terrain. <laughs> I have to come out here through my own spotter. So I'm going to go for an advance with um, these guys. And the reason I'm not going to jump with my big squad straight away is because I may want to go down um, from Sherman's flying in and shooting me with HG. So that may be what I want to do. So we're going to go for an advance we're going to essentially shimmy these guys around here, and then we're going to fire some shots over there. So we'll just do that now. So we'll move over to here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Order test. Order test. There is a pin marker right there. They failed it the first time. Will they fail it a second time? No, they have passed. There we go. Pin marker has now gone away. So we'll move these guys around the flank here. Again, you, they, are now, they are now a bit of a prime target for... Uh, 
a Shermaning, but that's not too bad. So we will certainly be within half range with the machine gun. I doubt we'll be in half range with the LMGs. So we'll get the, I've realized I have been doing my machine guns one dice short every time. Uh, I was just doing those regular LMGs, not German LMGs, because Germans get the extra shot. Not to worry, I don't think an extra shot here and there would have made a big difference. So we have got uh, the LMG going into your commandos. It will be moved, it will be light cover, and that will be it. Oh, it's a good burst. It's a good burst. All right. That is a pin marker, and can we can we get a kill? Whoa, -ho! two, and do I get to pick? I do not. So James, you have lost two of your commandos there, and now I have three rifles because uh, one of the rifles rifleman has to be a loader. Uh, they would have needed sixes because moved long range like cover, and I did not get any hits. All right, that is my dice. Uh, we'll back in a moment with the next one. Okay, and the next dice is a German dice. It is the Germans. Okay, now we're going to continue to pepper you with some fire from here. So we're just going to go for a straight up fire order. And we're going to do that into these chaps here. Now, I will be hitting you on a five with the LMG because it's just hardcover. Uh, and I'm hitting you with sixes with the rifles. Do you want to stay up and wear it or go down and try and weather it? It's a tricky uh... decision. You need a second to think. I think, I think we're just gonna. I think we're just gonna weather it. Just gonna weather it. Gonna go for it. Final answer. That's locked in. Yeah. Who wants to be a millionaire? As in million bullet holes in them from the <laughs> from the German bus saw. That is three hits. That oh, was not the right decision. That was. Uh, it was a bad call, Ripley. It was a bad call. <laughs> You said those colonists out there to die, Burke. <laughs> Sorry, just going down a little alien quote rabbit hole there. Um, okay, so let's go for some kills. Just the one, just the one. Not too bad. Do I get to pick though? Will Sergeant Sergeant Dave? It's Dave's going to leave. That's called. Will he go down? No, it's not Dave. It's an unnamed chap. And then we have three riffles. No hits. So that's that's all right. That is to be fair. Turn three. We're dug in, we're machine gunning you. That's probably about the level of casualties we should be expecting. All right, we'll be back in a moment with the next dice. All right, James, pick that funky dice out of that bag. It's, it's another again. German one. Ooh, 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 la, la. Eek, barber, derkel. All right, let's go for... Uh, I think I should probably go with my Panzer. And the reason I should probably go with my Panzer is if I don't go with it now and you fly in and, uh, and kill it... I'll be most upset. But if I do go with it now, I'm going to have to do it into these guys. I'm going to have to. Because if I don't, you'll... Uh, if I do it over here, you'll go down. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to go for a fire order. We are going to fire the big cannon and the whole machine gun into this squad. Now, if we get down here... We can see at least two of the guys. So we're going to say light. We're going to say light cover because um, you're sort of you're hanging around the bushes there. So it will be a um, a four to hit with the main gun. There's nothing you can do about this. You've just got to wear it. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a hit. Now it's going to get two guys because of the way you've spaced out. So killing, and it'll be it'll be a two inch template. So it'll be killing on threes. Two kills. And it will be a two template, so it will be D3 pins for two pins. Just <laughs> That was very consistent just down the board. Now, um, so put, you've got two extra pins on there. And then we have a medium machine gun from the hull. Now, uh, I can't do any extra pins to you with this. Now, this will, again, just be fours because I'll be in half range. I haven't moved. It's just going to be like cover. That is two more hits, a little, little below average there, but I can't complain because I got obviously got the... So it now becomes small teams. Two. Um, so I think that because it's all firing from one unit, it doesn't, mm -hmm. um, but I think it would do for the next unit that shoots them. I, someone told me the other day that you only get small target if you've got the team keyword, but I don't think that's true. I think the moment you go down to two guys... Yeah. yeah, so, but if you chat, if you know, put it down in the comment section, guys. Um, anyway, trying to kill these chaps. Oh, oh, the last two commandos gunned down. That's what happens when you run out into almost the open <laughs> against the Panzer IV. That is brutal. That is some brutal casualties taken by the, uh, by the commandos there. But 
that is the majority of my firepower. I'm pretty much bin. So James, it will be, uh, we'll back in a moment with the next dice. Um, so we have got the next dice, James, what is it? Show it to the camera. It is a British it dice. It is a commando dice. All righty, ho ho. What are you thinking? I'm gonna try and put these guys on ambush. Are you sure? Well, if these guys move up on the next uh, on the next dice, I kind of want to be able to hit you. True, but if I charge you, I'll probably be within six inches. So you can't charge me because you can't see me. Ah, yeah, we'd have to check. That's probably true. That's probably true. It is. Uh, I'll give you that one. Um, okay, yeah, because of the because of that that damn ridge line. So we'll try and get there or the. It could be a moot point. Let's see if he gets it. Go down anyway. Looking for an eight or under. Yeah. Oh. They're just going to have a little sit down. They have a little sit down. Not the worst decision at the end of the day. Because um, you'll still be relatively difficult for me to, to do anything. Pick, you, pick them out. To pick them out. All right, keep the dice. Keep it flowing. See what the next dice is. It's a German dice. It is a German dice. Okay, so I'm going to uh, fire my mortar. I'm just struggling to find the fire order. Fire. Difficult to actually pick out the orders on these <laughs> on these silver dice. Uh, and we're going to fire it into. I really want to say the quarter pounder, but I feel like that would be very upsetting if I then got a six. <laughs> so we're going to actually fire it into this squad here. Now, would you like to go down? It's only going to hit on a six, but if it does hit, it's going to get probably four people because you're quite bunched up. So that would go down to two. Oh, but then yeah. if you don't go, if you if I miss, I can still do something with them. You can still do something they with take them. The can, they took the casualty earlier for me not choosing not to go down. Yeah. I'm going to try and avoid the six. I'm not going to go down. You're not going to go down. All right. Ah, <sighs> oh, it's the right choice. It is the right choice. I, I mean, this I always miss this dice tray. <laughs> it is the world's smallest dice tray, though. All right, so I have fired. Okay, uh, we're back in a moment with the next dice. These commandos are taking a beating. There's mortar shells raining down around them. But it is now time for the next commando dice. James has just pulled a green one. What are you thinking, dude? I'm going to bring in some shenanigans. The Sherman? It's not a Sherman. It's not a Sherman. I'm going to bring in my artillery officer. Okay. Where he can hopefully be able to see you a little bit. You won't be able to call it in this they turn. Won't call it in this you turn. Won't call it? Okay, that's cool. But hopefully, it'll voodoo you next time. Yeah, it probably will do. Just place it right at my fire base. You'll probably have a great time. All right, well, I'll tell you what, James, we'll let you do that and we're back in just a moment. Okay, so James has brought his artillery spotter in and he's just tucked in the corner of that building there. James has revealed a big brain maneuver to me, which is that he only needs to cause pins to me to, uh, to, to win the game, essentially. And if he calls his artillery strike in late game, then I might not have a chance to rally them off, or I could fail my rally orders, and then he uh, and then he wins. The only problem with that is the artillery is not guaranteed to come in. Might not. It, he might just not roll the four plus. <laughs> <laughs> so it's uh, it's a it's a, but it is very much uh, it is a, it is exactly the right thing to do with him. There's no point in spunking it off now. It's not going to do anything. So very clever, Mr. James. Very clever, Commando. All right. Another green dice for you, sir. Okay, what are you thinking? Well, I'm gonna bring on a bit of a Bren carrier, I think. Just, just a bit of it, not the whole Bren just carrier. Just a bit, a bit of Bren carrier. All right. So I'll tell you what, we'll give you a moment to uh, think where you want to put that, and we'll be back in just a second. So James has brought on his Bren carrier over here, but he is the big sad. He I just would like to apologise to anyone I played uh, at the ball action event this weekend when I was shooting two Brens at you. Yeah. Because as we're about to discuss. Apparently you need someone in a Bren carrier to yep. shoot the second Bren. So the Bren carrier can take an extra LMG, as you can see the guy on top that is there manning it, but he's not really, because in order for you to fire that second uh, LMG, someone needs to be in it. So a favourite tactic of a lot of Brit players is to like fire off their artillery or have their like a cheap officer or something hanging around, and he just fires the Bren. But unfortunately, James doesn't have anyone in that. Now, I did tell him if he wants to put his artillery guy in there and use it, that's fine, because he didn't know and... I wouldn't want anyone to get caught out just because they didn't know, you know, something like that. That's not, that's not fair. But he has decided that he'd rather have his his off, his artillery officer over here doing that big brain maneuver, and instead he's just going to use the single brand. It is a learning point, obviously. Um, it is a little bit frustrating. I mean, it makes sense. You you would have to have someone in the back to shoot it, and otherwise there is only 
those two crew. But it is a little frustrating because it doesn't say it anywhere in like the books or anything. It's something that I believe is in um, is in the FAQ or something. But it is absolutely, it is the case. Um, let us know down in the comment section if you've got that rule wrong before or if, uh, or if we, or maybe we, we've got it wrong. But I am 99.99999% certain you do need someone in the back in order to shoot that second brand. But you are shooting it now. You know, although it vexes you greatly, you're terribly vexed, yeah. but you are going to fire into this unit of grenadiers here. Now, are you within half range, good sir? You are in half range. Yes, comfortably yes. so. So it will simply be a moved and a light cover. Four shots, because you are not the German LMG, uh, and you will be hitting on fives. Okay, that's not bad. You've put a pin on. A killing on fours? No. No, but you have got a pin on them. And remember, James, if he has a pin on my units, that's a unit that cannot score at the middle of the middle of the board. So there we go. All right, after that long-winded way of saying James is a salty Bren master, <laughs> let's now, or let's just say Bren apprentice, <laughs> uh, well, let's now go to the next dice. What is it, James? Next dice is a German dice. It's a German dice. Okay, I am going to have a little think. So I decided to go with my officer, and they were able to put a pin on James' unit, despite the fact that they went down, which is pretty good. Um, so let's see what the next dice is. It's it a is commando green commando one. Green. Okay. Might have to bring in another little, little squad. You've got two here. infantry units, I believe. Yep. And a Sherman. And a Sherman. The Sherman. I'm going to bring in uh, an LMG team. You're really not bringing that Sherman. You're really holding off on that Sherman, yeah, aren't you, yeah, man? It's very making very me nervous. <laughs> All right. He's going to bring in the. Uh, he's going to bring in his. His LMG team. Which has two LMGs in it. But it does have two, unlike that Bren. <laughs> the funny thing is, James did pay for the Bren, and now he can't use it. So, which is. Unless. You can get a little yeah, squad so inside. You need one man to die from a squad, and then you can jump inside, basically. All right, now you're gonna you're gonna come in over there, are you? All right, are you running on or advancing on? I'm gonna advance on. I hope that I'm in 36 inch range. And try and host down them grenadiers. Try and give you some. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, we'll uh, we'll let you put your models down. We'll resolve that shooting off camera, and we'll be back with the next dice. And once the rat -a -tata -tata of the Bren guns had finished, but a single pin had been put on those veterans. James was a. Uh, bit miffed he got two fours he was like ah oh, i've killed a couple and i was like nope i'm using for once i'm using veterans i never use veterans i'm a, I'm a regular and experienced kind of guy i am but i do like to try and mix up occasionally with a bit of a veteran sauce all right we've, we've swapped sides look at this oh gadzooks the, the perspective has changed it will be a german dice though mm, i think i'm gonna go i'm really ups really genuinely worried about them just like charging in and blowing this up which would, would would make me the big sad. Um, so what I'm going to try and do is um, I'm going to go for an advance backwards and then I'm going to pepper you, okay? Because I, I don't need to worry about that vehicle just yet. So we're going to go for the advance back to, let's say, about here. Still using the hedges for the light cover. And then we're going to Pepper those guys up. Now I'll tell you what, we'll do that off camera, and I'll tell you what we'll do, because it's unlikely to result in anything more than a pin. And what we'll do is we'll actually um, be back at the end of the turn, unless James comes in with his Sherman and decides to do something Billy Big Bollocks with it. So we'll be back, uh, we'll be back either with that or at the end of the turn. So we're near the end of turn three now. James brought a unit of commandos in here and he tried to pepper up my heavy anti-tank gun, my Pack 75, but I did go down, which meant that he didn't get any hits. Uh, but the big thing is James has finally committed the Sherman and he has, uh, he, he ummed around about where to put it for a long time and he actually has made sure he's put it far enough forward so that I couldn't get it. I was like, hey, James, if, if you leave it too far back, I'm going to thread the needle through there with my Panzer IV. So he, uh, he has moved it forward a bit further. James has been on the receiving end of my bullshit long range uh, tank shots enough to, uh, to know not to do that. Um, so now we've got the shots. Now you're putting the main gun into the half track yep. and putting the MMG into the truck. Yes. Now, which one would you like to do first? Let's do the main gun. Let's, main miss, gun. let's miss with the main gun first. This will be a five to hit because it's moved and light cover. Hey, yep. as a tradition. Now, you'll get five shots with the MMG. This will be forced to hit because it'll just be moved. You've got two hits. Now, if you get a six, you will kill the truck. Straight up kill it. No. No, sadly not. So, uh, the truck has had a pit on it. And the uh, and the half track is okay. That is um, that's still a great placement for that. It really because yeah. my my gamble was to essentially have these 
two guys chilling out here. Hope James would overcommit on this side of the board. And then in the last turn, I'd be like, beep, 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 just drive everything forward. So by doing that, you have... Uh, you have thrown a spanner in the in the works. Uh, now the only dice left to go is actually this one, and I am going to go for an advance order, and we are going to get on top of this ridge line, and we're going to da, 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 da. we're going to dacker down into the uh, well. It's more it's not dacker because that's what okay. We're going to rat -ta 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 down into the uh, down into these commandos here. So we'll move those up. We'll do that shooting, and we'll see if any of those guys are left at the end of the turn. The veteran grenadiers crest the ridge. Pointing their SMGs and assault rifles down, they start blazing away into the commandos. But there must be a lot more foliage down there than we uh, than we expected, because unfortunately, despite the fact that I was hitting on fours for most of it, I actually only got three hits, and then I only got one kill. So I have done another pin. So they are badly pinned up to three pins, uh, but there is still quite a few commandos left. That I was actually expecting to, uh, even with you being down. To, to wipe you out there because a lot of it was point blank hitting on fours but is what it is um, so that is the end of the turn so we will put the dice back in the bag in terms of how the lay of the land is looking going into uh, turn four uh, my my mechanized and motorized forces are being threatened by the by the uh, the enemy panzer and then we have got obviously my flank is getting tickled by those uh, by those uh, commandos over there and then over here. The centre's the centers degenerated a little bit, I'm not going to lie. Uh, but the flank over here is starting to be harassed by commando forces. And James has also got assets down here. So he's got lots of different forces that you can pour fire into the middle. I think that um, I might take the middle, but I'm not sure I'll be able to take it without, without, without pins. Mm -hmm. So it'll be interesting to see um, how the end result works. So that is turn three, potentially the halfway point of the, of the game. We shall see what happens going into turn four. So going into turn four, James, Bagman, pull that dice. Who's going to get the first dice? I'm not sure who wants it. I don't think it's a bad... I think both sides could make use of it. Now, you have pulled a green dice out there. Okay. So do you want to have a little think? I, I actually think I know what I'm going to do. What are you going to do? Sherman time? No, I'm going to charge you. I'm going to charge your... You're going to charge me there. Okay. Now, we, it will be a prepared position, so we will fight at the same time. But I think you'll probably... And I will get a chance to overwatch you as well. Because I haven't been yet. Yeah. So I'll hit you on... Uh, uh, three? Because it'll be like... I'll shoot you here. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we'll roll the dice. I will overwatch you. Are you sure you still want to do that? Now you know that I can overwatch. Yeah. Okay. I got a hit. Whether it's a three or a four for light cover doesn't really matter. Um, although... I would need to. I, ooh, I no, I don't think I can, because I would need to turn the gun first, and I don't think I can do that. So I don't think I can Overwatch you. Yeah. So that is that was what was the German uh, crew wanted to do, but they're not allowed to. No. So you haven't been hit. Yes. You feel happier now. Yes. Okay. Ghost, he's going in. He's going in for yeah, it, boys. So we just resolved the combat. James charged in and before the Germans could say, Gott in Himmel, they were cut down. And then without even breaking a sweat, the commandos actually got a really good consolidate and have moved behind that bit of hard cover. They are working on this German uh, flank. Fritz is getting a bit worried now. Uh, I do have obviously all of my units down here to try and respond, but it's going to be kind of tricky because they're going to be like shooting past each other. Really, it just comes down to this sort of like one squad here. So it's not ideal to say the least. So that was a really strong move by uh, by James. They're working on the flank. Uh, so that is that activation there. We'll be back with the next dice. Okay, what is the next dice? Next dice. It's a German dice. It is a German dice. It is I. All right. All right. I think that the smart money is now that I know... Oh, you've got your anti-tank gun over there, haven't you? That is most uh, unfortunate. So what I'm going to do is... Um, I'm actually going to... Uh, go for an advance order. I'm going to present my front armour to the 25-pounder. I'm going to shoot the 25-pounder with my machine gun in an effort to try and put a pin on it. And then I'm going to put my uh, big gun into the Bren. Go for the, it, it still counts as a tank kill. You might need to rejig there because you're shooting within one inch of your own dude. 
with my okay well i'll go for, i've got a little bit of play there so i'll, I'll end up like that there you go on top of you dude there we go. It's so well camouflaged, it's difficult to tell. So yeah, I'll end up about there. Um, obviously, there is your Sherman to worry about, but I think if I, I think if I go like that, I should be okay. And to be fair, this, if this, if you want to shoot me, so shoot you, you have to shoot through your own guys, yeah, um, or risk exposing yourself. So hey, we'll see how it goes. So that is going to be my my thing there. Now let's go for the shot. So we'll go for the main cannon into the Bren. Um, it's going to be moved. And that's it. Is that it? Yeah, so needing a four. I've got the hit. Um, That's a bullshittery <laughs> big hit. <laughs> and uh, what's the armour? Seven, I believe. Seven, oh, so I'll be in half range. So a one will glance, because I'm, I'm, I'm pen six. So it's a glance. It's only a glance, though. Um, oh, but if I but you're open-topped, right? Yes. Oh, no, it's it not. It doesn't make any difference to this yet, so... It's dead. Well, it's not necessarily dead. It's on fire. It's on fire. So you take another pin, and so you've got two pins, and I need to take a uh, leadership test, and you need to be of the fire. Mm. Now, you're a regular. I am regular. 50 50 chance. Get a seven or less. Seven or less. It's no. not <laughs> lucky. Hey! <laughs> so you do go, you do go down. Yeah. You do go down, but you have managed to put the fire out. Uh, and then I've got my machine gun going into your um, going into your 25 pounder. So I'm just going to grab myself some extra dice here. And we're going to fire the whole machine gun into the 25 pounder just there. Now this will certainly be uh, long range light cover, would you say there? So it'll be five to hit. I have got uh, three hits. That's pretty good. Now that is a pin, and it will be killing on five because even though you're regular, you have the shield of the gun, the gun shield. <laughs> I've killed it. I've killed two. Uh... Absolutely bullshit. <laughs> James, that is a leadership test. That's leadership eight. Get those dice, bring them over here, man. Or do you want to roll them in the tray? I'm going to roll them in the tray. It's going to roll them in the tray. Okay, you can't start. you can't fail. You can't fail. There you go. But you have only got one man loading that gun. So he's at a minus one. He's now. at a permanent minus one to hit. That is uh that is very good. So that was a letdown, because I think I hit you. That was very much a positive. So swings and roundabouts. Alright, that is my activation there. That was an uh, an advance. We'll be back with the next dice. So, Alright, so we are into the next dice now. James, what is it gonna be? Gonna be a commando dice. It's gonna be a commando dice. Do you know what you're doing? Uh, I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and pop back at you. Okay. I'm gonna pass an order test and get it get a hit, which is okay. So firstly, strange. order test on a on an eight. On an eight. He's done She's it. Touch. Secondly, it will be a fire order. It will be a fire order. Now I think it's gonna be. You're gonna to have to measure it because you've only got you've yes. only got a 24 inch half range. So this will be. A potentially long range light um, cover. This will be, yep. That's yep. Long so it's long range and it's light cover and it's a six because yeah. you've got only one man who's trying to who's trying to do the whole thing. Can he get that six to hit? Strange things have happened. Straight six, straight through. Straight sixes. Hey! This 25 pound is loving it. Now, uh, you will be penetration value plus, plus, four. Th plus four, but because it's over half range, it becomes plus three. My front armor is nine, so you have six to no, glance. Six. No. Ah, so you have put a pin on me. So we'll just grab that now. So we're, these these are two things are absolutely just going into each other. That is really cool. All right, we'll be back with the next dice, but good job, quarter pounder, and good job, Panzer four. Okay, we're going to do the next dice now. What's it going to be, James? It's a German dice. It's a German dice. All right, I am going to go with my mortar. We're going to go for... The fire order, we're going to fire into the squad that we need a five to hit, because we shot the one last time. Down or up? Down or up? I'm going to stay up. He's going to stay up. That detective was the right choice. All right, so going down to a four now, but James is still having a great time. We'll keep it rolling. Straight into the next, straight into the next unit. It's another German it is dance. more of the Germans. Okay, so we are going to go for... Um, we're going to go with my 
officer, my lieutenant. Um, actually, I'm going to go with my, I'm going to go with my, my uh, Hannah Mag. And I'm going to go, no, I'm going to go with the, yeah, no, I'm going to go with the lieutenant. So I'm going to go for uh, a fire order there. And we're going to keep putting pins on this unit. I will be hitting you on fours unless you want to go down. I need to do something with those guys. So I'm going to stay up again. Just going to stay up. Okay, hitting on fours. Two hits. That's another pin. They have now got three pins on them. And killing on fives. I have killed one. One of them catches an STG round to the throat. <laughs> and he goes down dying. Bit of vivid imagery for you guys there. All right, we'll be back with the next dice. All right, what is the next dice, James? It's another German it's dice. It's another German dice. German Ooh, steel. German steel, indeed. Um, I really, really want to go with that Hannah Mag. Because <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's going to catch a tank shell to the face if I don't. Um, but then it hasn't really got anywhere to go. Ah, oh, so tricky. I'm slightly, yeah, I'm slightly in a pickle. Um, I'll just, I think if the Hanamag eats it, the Hanamag eats it. I think that's, it. I don't think I've got anything I can do about it. So what I'm going to do is actually go with my big grenadier squad, mm -hmm. and uh, we are going to go uh, for the charge. Yep. We're just going to fly straight in. Although shoot, no, that's so risky. <laughs> but then I get the hard cover. I get the hard cover. So yeah, it's more fun. It might not necessarily be the right thing. I think shooting you is the correct decision. But we're going to go for a run order. And we're going to go for the charge. So what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll get the dice together for that. And we'll be back in just a moment. Okay, so this is what the combat looks like. It is a swirling melee. The Germans, uh, we we're going to say that the it's going to be an equal fight. Basically what we mean is, because I've got to like, slide down a hill or jump over a barricade... We're going to say that um, we'll be fighting at the same time rather than the Germans striking first. So I will be killing you on fives. You are dead. How many do I take with me? How many do you take with you? None. None. James Excellent. argued really strongly for that. He <laughs> didn't really. He didn't really. Uh, uh, no, that's cool. So I now get to do my consolidation. I'm, of course, at a little bit of a risk here from the counter charge from the, uh, from the commandos. But they do have three pins on them, so they might fail their order. My consolidation is the big four. So I'll move my guys around and we'll back the next dice. I'll tell you what we'll do, guys. We'll do a few dice off camera. And if anything exciting comes up, we'll, uh, we'll capture that. Otherwise, we'll see you at the end of the turn. And at the end of turn four. Wow, this is anybody's game. So I put some small arms fire from uh, this squad into the uh, unit of commanders here and got a pin on them. And then this uh, unit of Germans redirected. They got went for the advance roll and they fired point blank into the commanders and was able to kill three of them. James did pass his order test though. So he's, uh, he's all right. But that was uh, pretty good. That, that, I thought those six commandos were just going to start chewing down a flank. Now that is a bit of a tricky pos uh, position for them because yes, they would be, at, be able to go into those, uh, to those Germans. But if I pull the first dice, that is a great first dice for me to pull there and... Uh, Start slowing down the officer. Um, in other news, uh, James did a really cool cheeky manoeuvre and, and he got a charge off with his remaining four veterans. I thought three pins was going to you know, put them out. I mean, I get one pin on a squad and it can't do anything for the rest of the game. But three pins on your commandos, easy. They eat pins for breakfast. And he charged in against my officer, killed him, but did take two casualties in return. But then when he consolidated, he got into the, the Hannah Mag and at the end of the turn, because the Hannah Mag and the truck had gone this way to avoid the the, the, the Sherman chain mower, um, <laughs> they were able to, to kill it. Because for those that don't know, if you're a transport and you end your the turn closer to an enemy unit than you do to a friendly unit, then you die. The crew abandons it. So that Hannah Mag is gone, which means two dies have been taken out uh, by one single little unit of commandos. Uh, the truck is okay, though. Because they are, you know, right next to that um, unit of uh, veterans there. So it's it's all right. The, the Sherman whiffed, by the way, guys. But I think um, in a funny sort of way, it actually turned out to do quite a good job because it herded the transports towards the uh, commandos. So not too bad at all. Going into turn five, the, pen the penultimate turn, the commandos are looking a bit dicey here. And the center of the board has essentially been claimed by the Germans. Now we have a truck. And we have a big 10-man squad in there. We need at least one more unit in there by the end of turn six, unpinned, which is the tricky part, yeah. to win the game. 
I think it could come down to this artillery bombardment. I think it could do, but we'll see. We shall see. Now, um, we will go straight into turn five now. We'll put the dice in the back and we'll see who gets that first dice. All righty, ho, ho. We have got turn five. James, what is the first dice going to be? It is a commando It is a commando dice. I think that's pretty good for you. Yes. What are you thinking? You've got options. You could try making something happen over here. Yeah, I... You could potentially assault that transport and, uh, and kill it. Remember, it's open top, so all you need to do is get... Uh, a hit, and then you you still need to damage it, but you don't need to roll on the damage table. You will kill it. So it's stationary as well, so you'd be hitting on force. So this that's is, not bad. This is definitely tricky. You could put another pin on the pan. You could try and put the pin on the Panzer, put it on two pins, making its likelihood to get its orders off low. There's a lot, there's a lot to there's consider. A, do you want to have a little think? Let's have a little think about this. Okay, James, have a little think. We'll see if he can think hard enough to get a single wrinkle down the middle of his brain. And we're back in just a moment. After much deliberation, James decided that he wanted to shoot up the truck. He did think about charging it, but he still needs to hit me on fours. And then on average, he'd get one hit. He'd need a five or a six to blow up the truck. So he decided to hose me down. Four shots. Is that a couple of Tommy guns? Is it a Tommy and a yeah. Sten? Uh, it's two Thompsons. Two Thompsons. All right. That's 0. 0.45 ACP. Oh, Here we go. Hitting on twos. He said with everything. Yeah, yeah. You need... A six. six. Just one six. Come on, baby. Daddy wants a six. Daddy wants a six. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> All right, so that truck has... It has died. Ah, oh, the German armoured push, the mechanised push, has been repelled. Now it is just a big unit of veterans in the centre. So, James, smoke, smoke me, Blazer. Let's have a look. Smoke coming out of the back there. There you go. To be fair, I mean, that thing has, has been shot in the ass twice by a 1919 machine gun, <laughs> and it's been just absolutely hosed down by the uh, by the Thompson. So it's just a, it's just, it's just a, what is it, like kindling at the back there? That, that, would, that would have been. All right, so that is an exciting start to turn five. James, pull the next dice, we'll just keep rolling into it. It is German. It is the Germans. Okay, I think for moi, mm. it's gotta be that. Okay. It's gotta be that. Um, so we're going to go for a uh, straight up fire, or do I need, oh, I, need to, I need to think about going over here though, man, for turn six. It's going to be in advance. It's okay. going to be in advance. I'm going to advance to here, and then if I'm alive turn six, I'm going to try and dash to the center. That's my plan. All right, we're going to go for the advance. Are you going to... I'm going to go down. He's going to go down. All right, so we'll be safe... From the machinate machinations of these uh, of these commandos for a turn, so we'll just move ourselves over about here. We'll try and try and cling onto some sort of light cover. He has gone down there. All right, we'll get some dice together. We're back with some shooting. So we've worked out. I will be hitting on fives because I am in point blank, but James has gone down. So the LMG Hitler's buzzsaw. See if they can do the business. It's a hit. That's all right. That is a that is a pin. Can we get a kill with that? Can we get a kill? All right. We have not got a kill. All right. Okay. 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 <laughs> Three rifles. It's a hit. I don't get another pin. Sadly, that would be awesome. Come on, just car ninety eight straight through the cranium. Here we go. Hey, and do I get to pick the officer? Get another six. Ah, no, I don't. Sadly, it's just nestling in the bush. It's just nice and cradled by the leaves. <laughs> there we go. So I have killed a single man from that squad. So James, you just want me to take this non-officer man off? Yep. There you go. Uh, and they are down to a two-man team. They've been whittled, whittled greatly, but they will be a one day if anything else wants to shoot at them now. So not too bad, not too bad. Uh, and I, of course, have got myself into a position for the potentially the last turn or turn six, uh, seven and eight, depending on... Uh, Depending on uh, if I manage to achieve my goals, turn six. So that is that. We'll be back in a moment with the next dice. And the next dice is... The Germans. The Germans. Oh, mein Gott. Okay. Um, I'm going to go with the Panzer. Mm. I believe that is the correct choice. I'm going to attempt to go with the Panzer. I'm going to go for... I'm going to go for a fire. 
And the reason I'm going to go for a fire is because I just want to shoot you. Yeah. And I reckon I could still get a nice dash into the center next turn anyway. So I will need two dice to pass my order. If I fail it, I'll go down, but I won't reverse anywhere because I've got my back to the wall anyway. Oh, it's a foobar. Um, I think there's no enemy units out within 12 inches of me. I actually know the foobar table now. Uh, so whatever happens is I will just go backwards and go down. I can't go backwards, so I just end up just going down. Okay. There we go. So if you'd had, if these guys are still alive, I would have turned around and blasted my own men. <laughs> <laughs> so he has, he has. That is pretty big because it means that I've kept my pin, which means that if James gets a hit on me next turn, it means it could make it. It would actually mean that he won't be able to help me score the middle now. Mm. Pretty, pretty horrible. All right. Um, we'll be back with the next dice. And the next dice is a commando dice. So, do you know what you're going to do, James? I'm going to go for a run on this little squad. Okay. Up board. Okay. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll pull a few dice and we'll just see where we end up in the turn. And we'll be back if something exciting happens. So at the end of turn five, things are looking neck and neck when it comes to this mission. I dashed forward with one of my little five-man grenadier squads here, and they did that uh, successfully. And then coming over to the Bren, Bren, both uh, the arm on both sides. The, I say the arm, I mean yeah, the arm. Bren, <laughs> the Bren versus the mighty Panzer IV. Both of them got a foobar, so they both just backed off away from each other. Like, all right, nobody wants any trouble here. <laughs> The guy's like, don't tell him that there's no ammo and there's Bren in the back. <laughs> Coming over here, my mortar failed to get a hit on the quarter pounder, and the quarter pounder failed to get a hit on the um, on the panzer. Interestingly, James would have got a hit if he had one more crew member, but it's the fact that it's a one-man team that's really scuppered it. Coming round to this side, uh, the, uh, the Sherman, sadly, had, uh, achieved nothing. He's basically just been sort of corralling the Germans, but he didn't actually do anything. But uh, he did cause me to go down with my um, German unit. But they're kind of happy 10-man Germans just to sit there and just stay down and have a great time. Uh, but the biggie, the biggie is James did call in his artillery bombardment. And that's going to happen at the beginning of turn six. So James, get the dice it. tray. Nice get, get a dice. Bring it into the center. On a four plus, you will achieve many pins. Yes. Or not a four plus. It's maybe big. <laughs> hey! So now I need to roll to see how big the blast radius is. Big as possible, please. It's oh, two. so I believe that is an eight inch, eight inch um, yeah. range. Now that will probably just be, uh, we'll sort of just double check, but I think that's just going to be those, yeah. those grenadiers in the center. So what do you do to them? You need to roll a dice on a two. Are you, I don't think you're going to catch your own, guys. No. So on a two, on a one to five, they'll take um, some pins. Uh, and on a six, they'll get hit. Yep. It's a one. It's a one. So I believe that's, it's, I think, I think it's D3. It is. You, st you always do something, trust okay. me, once it's come in. So I believe that's D3 pins. Okay. It nice is the big three. three. It is the big three. Interesting. Okay. So... Um, yeah, you're going to have to, we'll, we'll pin them up, and then we shall get into the turn proper. So those grenadiers are all pinned up. And James, you will now get to pull the dice out of the bag. This is pretty big. That's, that pinning them up is massive, dude. Yes. You do get the it first. The first dice. The first dice. Oh, choices, choices. The agony of choice. Mm. Uh, I think we're going to go with the, the old Bren gun team. The old Brengan team. We're going to see if we can fucking sort them out. Okay, that's a 2 6. Leadership uh, 7, because you are of the regular. Of regular. House regular. Nope. nope. Uh, okay. So here's a down. So just going to have a little sit down. Okay. Not at the worst possible moment. They've decided yeah. to have a little sit down. They don't like the fact that they have their a, a, 75, a 7.5 millimeter shell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of, uh, there's a pack 75 or something on top of that panzer, isn't it? Um, all right, what is the next dice? We'll keep it rolling. It's you. Is of the German. All right. Now, I. Oh, I think I need to do. 
I'm trying to eyeball that. Six inches. Um, I think I need to go. I think the center is like here. Yeah. Around here. So I'm going to have to go for uh, a run with this squad here. Because if I don't do it, you're going to you're gonna try and shoot me up, even yeah. with two pins. So I'll go for a run. And I might not be in a great position this turn. I think this might go to turn seven. But we'll see. I'm going to go for a run. And I'm just going to go... as basically as far forward as I can. So we'll do that off camera uh, and we're back in just a second. All right, that's where those Grenadiers have ended up. This is their order dice. They have a run on them. James, you pick the next dice out. Good sir, kind sir. It is me. It is a commando green dice. Excellent. Uh, I'm gonna go for a little advance. A little advance? And here, see what we can see once we've moved. Okay, so we'll be back in a moment and now uh, see what you can see. James decided to go with this squad here into my veteran graders. I need to stay up because I need to uh, go for the rally. If I go down, they won't count towards the uh, the um, the mission. So James, four shots hitting on fours, two hits. Yes. That is of the pin. And do you get any kills? No, no they're still we're not, going. We're not too bothered about that. Though, no, no, just pinning them up, pinning them up nicely. Okay, uh, they've got four pins now. <laughs> Spicy meatball! <laughs> um, okay, so we'll go straight into the next dice. Do you know what you're doing? Uh, I've got to pull a dice first. You've got to pull a dice. It is me. I told you. Do you know what you're doing? It is a commando <laughs> dice. Uh, um, mm, interesting. Mm. I'm going to try and do a little advance over there. Okay, a little advance. See what we can see. See if we can get these pins off. Okay. So I'm at you're on a leadership seven. And plus one because the officer. Yeah. He doesn't, yep. doesn't care. Yeah, so he's, he loses a pin. Cool. Where is he going to advance towards? This way? Yes, I think he will. Okay, come over here. We'll tell you what, we'll move him and we'll, get, we'll come back uh, with his shots in a moment. So after he has moved, the officer ends up here. Now it will be long range, light cover and two pins. Six is followed by six as James really needs... Oh! oh! <laughs> okay, James, you just need to do that again at least once. No. Oh! <laughs> oh, oh, man. Oh, <laughs> that... That uh, that I really was rooting for you there, man. That's that's all your sixes that, for the rest of your bolt action career used up in one go. Although, no, I think you've got a few more because you didn't. If you'd got four sixes again, that would have done it. Uh, There's a moment in the tournament this weekend, by the way, where I had I got to Overwatch with a Flak eighty eight. I needed six followed by six, and I got a six. And my opponent looked at me and went, "If you get another six, I'm going to quit." <laughs> I got a five. <laughs> oh, it was very close. It was very close. All right, we will be back with the next dice in just a moment. Okay, James, it is the next dice. It's the German dice. Here's the German dice. I know what I have to do. I don't know if I have the strength to do it. Um, I've got to go with the Panzer. And I've got to uh, go for an advance because I think I can, with my nine inches, I can get pretty close to the center anyway. And I'm going to have to uh, pepper up this unit. They're, those LMGs are the thing that could could cause me some problems. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to go for the big shell on them as well, just try and do damage on them. So firstly, we're going to put the advanced dice there. Secondly, James, you're going to pass me a couple of German dice. And uh, I am going to attempt to roll my order test. Come on, man. Come on. First one. <laughs> hey, that's all right, because it was a three, so seven in total. So I will lose my pin. All right, now I'm going to be back. I'm going to measure it up, and then we're going to get the shots on camera in just a second. Okay, the Panzer IV has ended up there, just smashing through the barricades, and it will be able to draw a line of sight onto the squad there. It will need a five to hit because of the light cover and the moving... I'm going to fire the big gun because I want to, you know, I want firstly, big guns are the best. And secondly, because uh, I think tickling them with MGs isn't the way to go. If I can, it's go big or go home. Big swing. Ah. Okay. <laughs> uh, I think you'll find uh, that this is a captured German tank. It's got some sort of gyro stabilizer with it. Uh, no, sadly not. That, although, interesting, if I was an American, that would have been a hit because uh, American tanks of the veteran don't suffer from. Um, Moving and shooting. Uh, okay, now we've got the MG. Probably a hit. Long range, light cover, uh, moved. I have to check if it's long range. James, if you've got a tape measure there, just check with everyone with an 18. I think you will 
Am I off within the 18? Yes, you are. Okay, so a single pin, and that is it. Nothing but a pin. Don't you love it when your 200 point tank does just pins, James? I mean, to be fair, you've been experiencing the same thing. All right, now it will be uh, the next dice. Let's see what it is. It is a it's green. It's a green. Dice. Do you need a think or do you know what yeah, you're doing? Let's have a little thinky. Let's have a little thinkaroo. James has decided to go with the quarter pounder, the Royale with cheese. The 25 pounder, and he decided to fire it. He's been shooting it as a light anti tank on all game, but as you said at the beginning of the game, it can fire as a light howitzer. And if it does that, it means it will be a, and he gets a hit with it on this infantry squad, he'll do D3 pins to me. Which will be big. Which will be big. But you are going to have to hit me on a six using indirect fire. If you, I think if you fire directly, you might be on a six followed by a six because of like hard cover and stuff. Yeah. So again, just go show the versatility of the 25 pounder. Long story short, guys, James gets six here. It's pretty big. Here we go. Oh, oh he's done it. All right. That's, that is... That could be game winning for James, I think, there. So you will, we'll get some dice together and we'll see what casualties he can do. Okay, so we've got the templates out. James can kill uh, potentially two. He will be killing on twos because I am uh, regular. That is two dead, but now the biggie. The important bit. The D3 pins. Oh, that's what he wanted. That is what he wanted. Okay, so um, yeah, that's pretty big. So I'll have to remove two casualties, of course. I will go for these two here. Um, want the ones that are near the front, of course. I'll add them to my dead pile. No! Oh my god, so. Oh, so much going on! <laughs> okay, so uh, pull the next dice, James. This is a real nail bite. I still have a couple of tricks. I have a couple yeah. of tricks up my sleeve. Um, it's another German dice. It's another German dice. Okay, so for me. I haven't fired my mortar yet, mm. and um, that is the, I think even if I ran that two turns, 12 inches, I'm not going to get it to the center of the board. So it's, it's, it's not going to win me any points this, this turn. So it's just going to go for a fire, and I'm going to have to check my line of sight because I might do a fire on your Sherman if I can see it, but my spotter, he might not be able to. We'll just check in a second. So we have double checked, and sadly the mortar cannot see the Sherman or the uh, the big squad over there because that would have been nice to get a big six on it. Which means it might as well continue to shoot at the twenty five pounder because it doesn't have any better targets. So it will hit on a five. It has Ooh. hit. It will kill on a two. It has killed. Uh, so there we go. So that is one dice out of the bag for James, and it is one less threat to my Panzer four. So that's pretty good. Um, all right, what is the, the next dice going to be? This is getting pretty exciting now. It is a commando dice. It is, I think. Is that your last unit? I've got two more. You've got two more? God, yeah. Zooks. What have you got left? These guys here. I thought they shot in and... Uh, that was I thought they shot previous turn. I thought they shot in and did a pin there. Was that last turn? I think so. Oh, okay, very good, very good. Um, this squad. Oh, no, it might, they might have been... This squad, this this guy. I'm and sure, team. yeah, yeah, that makes sense to me. Okay, who are you going to do next then? Uh, Obviously, your artillery guy doesn't really matter. He's basically he's done his job. SMG. He can. Yeah, he's up. never going to get there. No. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think. I think. It's, I'm going to shoot into the big squad of veterans with the Sherman. Really see, and if I try and get more than six pins on you, trying to get the, the seven pins. Well, and, yeah, to try and un unrally me. Yeah, yeah unrallyable. Um, okay, so it will be uh, it'll be hard cover. Yeah, that'll be it. it'll be straight five because I can't go down. Because if I go down, I I basically take myself out of potentially winning the game this turn. So, James, it will be. I'll do the uh, machine gun first. He's doing the machine gun first. He's doing the machine gun first. All right. So fives. Yes, okay. he's got the hit. So he's got. So, so you don't you don't want to use that for your pin though. You want to use the yeah. the big gun. Uh, one guy. You've killed one. one. Fine. Uh, I'll take a rifle off. And then this is the one that matters. No. no. So you can have your pin from your machine gun. And that will put me up to five pins in total. I've got a little token here. Okay. Okay. That is that is uh, that unit done. It will now come down to the next dice. It is another British dice. <laughs> it's going to have to be that squad. I'm going to have to. Advance. Well, you... If I was you, 
I do yeah. the artillery guy first because you want to try and make me rally first. Rally first. Okay. That's what you want to do. Well, he will run forward just in case it goes. He can, to yeah, terminate. exactly. So run him across the swamp. Have a great time. Run through the jungle. All right. Cool. And now you need to pull the next dice. There's one. I've got two in there. You've so, got one. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Didn't quite work out, but it was a good. It was a good play. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna advance. Just advance and try and focus. yeah. So and you're gonna advance you. up to there. Try and get you. Yeah, very good. We'll get the dice. Tell you what, we'll let you move. We'll get the dice tray and the dice together and we'll be back with the black black. Oh no, guys, we just remembered they had a pin on them. James just rolled the dice and he got a six and a five, which means they have gone down. That is... <laughs> that is pretty big. All right, so now the last two dice should be mine. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go for the one that... Let's just do the one that matters. We're going to go for a rally mm. on the veterans. 2d6, leadership 10. It's a 3, so I'm going to pass the order. Even if I get a 6, I'm going to pass the order. Pass the order. Okay. So I'm going to lose a pin. Now, if I roll a 4, 5, or a 6, I'll win the game. If I roll a 1, 2, or a 3, the game will go on to turn 7 and 8. And then we see what happens at the end of that. Your rally roll is d6 plus. No, it's it's one for the order being yeah. passed, and then it's d6. Yeah. The total is d6 plus one. So, 50-50. Never tell me the odds. <laughs> Which means that they will lose their pins. And at the end of the turn six, it doesn't even matter what happens with them, I will have one, two, three units in the center of the board. And that will be, I have successfully cut the road off, James. All right, let's uh, tie the table up and we're back with some final thoughts. So once the dust has settled and the last scraps of firepower have petered out across the battlefield, it is a German win. We have successfully managed to cut the supply lines. And if you look at sort of where the forces have ended up, that does seem, uh, seem appropriate. I mean, you know, there's a, there's a Panzer IV parked in the middle of the map, backed up by a unit of veterans and some, and some regulars. But if you also take a look, those Germans are certainly not in a comfortable position. They are surrounded on every single side by commanders. Literally, there are literally commandos popping out of the bushes. <laughs> um, and that was, that was probably... You know, that was probably the closest game James and I have ever, ever played. Um, the last couple of times we played, one some, uh, was off battle report, was Japanese versus commandos. And Japanese was just running around, bayonet and everything. It was just brutal. Yeah. And I think the time before that, um, I, it was the first time I used a flamethrower. And we decided that with my bullshit luck, I wasn't allowed to use flamethrowers <laughs> anymore. Because <laughs> it, was, it was grim. So that truly was a game that was a, a proper nail biter. And it just, it just came down to a single rally. Yeah. If I hadn't got that rally off, I think with all the little scraplets that James has got um, uh, sort of surrounding me, he can put pins on every single squad. At that point, I've you're making and most of my stuff's regular. I'm on like 50-50, do I pass the order test? 50-50, do I pass the order test? And if I don't, if I fail it on just these, these two little squads here, or James just comes in and deletes two squads, you know, these 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 guys here could could beat up a squad of regulars fairly easily. And then I'm down to the point where I physically don't have enough units to score the middle. So it really did come down to if the Germans got that rally off, they won that get turn. If they didn't get that rally off, I've got to try and survive till turn eight. How the turn tables? Because now I'm in the middle trying to survive the survive the attackers. Um, that was a really, really good game. James, shake my hand, dude. Yeah. Very, very, very Thank good. Um, this was actually just, we just sort of goes to some final thoughts. So you've used the Sherman tank a bit now. Yeah. You're not... You're not you're not convinced, not overly, are you? Not only impressed by tanks in yeah. general. Uh, I am the opposite of the fast bullshit look. <laughs> I am quite unlucky, and I find a single shot weapon, Tricky. sort of regardless of anything, even snipers, on a three to hit. Well, there's a reason like, you don't use those ghillie snipers anymore, isn't there? How many times have you rolled a two to hit, man? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. It's, that's just that's just my look. Uh, I find you know it, tanks are quite good at voodooing, like it ushered. You know, these units up out of here, mm -hmm. you know, secured this flank, but really it didn't actually do anything. Mm. Um, it know. got a, two pins, yeah, it's a lot of points and killed a, a veteran, 
yeah, a lot of points for for that. Um, you know. My tank didn't really do very much either, though. When you think about yeah, it, my I... tank got one lucky shot on a quarter pounder, and then it did nothing the rest of the game. But I the thing is, tanks don't really kill stuff. Like you said, they're more. You 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 you, you don't you take them and you think ah oh, this is rubbish, and then you don't take them. You look, yeah, and then you like I really wish I had a tank right now. <laughs> Yeah. You know what I would suggest for you, man, if you're struggling with tanks and you want one that's got a little bit more DACA to it, you should look at the, is it the AA Centaur? Yeah. It's really good. It's a, I think it's a light tank and it has double auto counter. It has four shots. It's AP2, so it can still threaten light vehicles. And uh, it's also one inch blast. So if someone bunches up, you bunch, you uh, they become little giblets. Yeah. Uh, I think the thing to look at as well is a 17 pounder. Oh, oh no, please, <laughs> please. <laughs> oh no. It's a three inch blast. It's, it's, a, it's a bit of a beast. <sighs> yeah, if, if I personally am, you know, part of the 20, team 25 pounder, but um, the 17 pounder is when you need to absolutely positively kill every Jerry in the middle of the board. Do <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, yeah. it's strong. You could also, if you really want to start powering up your list, look at a land mattress. Multiple rocket launcher, dude. If you had a multiple rocket launcher, just just psh, 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 just <laughs> in the middle of board, I could never have won this game. Yeah, Can, wouldn't have got even close. Isn't but we, it, we, we isn't it a friendly to like a naval waffle? Yeah, <laughs> the thing is, like, if you get the land mattress, I'm buying a never worth it, <laughs> and then we're no longer friends because <laughs> we're. Uh, yeah, multiple rocket launchers are really good though, but and, and, and they're not they're not they're not impossible to kill. Yeah. Um, but yeah, what did you think about having... You had a bit more infantry this time, didn't you, as well? Having that yeah. core of 30. I mean, you actually have still got about 10, 50, about 10, 12 blokes left over at the end of the game. Yeah. Which is, again, a bit different for you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's, it's just good, isn't it? It's, that, it's a very brutal game, win or lose. There's no sort of in-between on this one. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's, it's good. I like when the, the brand teams... The brand seems to be the, the sweet spot. Vickers Cage seems 25 points for a, for a LMG. It's not where you want to be. Um, mm. But yeah, I don't know. I, uh, we need to play some Germans next time. Maybe. Yeah, we've just been saying that like, James has been playing his commandos for a long time. And, um, you know, he's, he, I mean, you got a draw at the event. Fair, yeah. fair play. You did get a draw at the event. And this was very, very close. And obviously, you've, you've you got a few wins here and there. But it's just a case of you need that palate cleanser, I think. Yeah. Um, Honestly, man, I, I personally think you're going to go into Germans and it's going to be like the first time someone takes magic mushrooms and their perception <laughs> of the world gets entirely, <laughs> entirely changed. You're like, oh, this is what it feels like because you have all of the gear yeah. and all of the quality. I, I personally think Germans are one of the strongest factions um, in, in bot action. And, and also the fact that you're playing, I'm playing generic Germans. So I've mm -hmm. got all these different things I can draw upon like Volts when it is. And you're like, no, if it hasn't got a green beret, it shall not be used in my list. So going down maybe some regular forces would uh, would be pretty useful there. Um, my own final thoughts uh, was I thought that the list that the list did quite well. Uh, I did miss not having a medium machine gun team. I do like just having one sat there just uh, blatting away. Um, but I'll tell you what was really impressive for me was the 10-man unit of veterans. First time I've run a big block of veterans they're so tough. I, I just didn't. I, I, they, I, they stood there and didn't go down and got shot at by everything in your army, and were fine. Yeah, lost one, one, man. one man. I now understand the veteran spam. Like you, my perception of bot action is a bit skewed as well because my perception is things die on threes <laughs> uh, unless you're lucky. Then they might become veteran. But <laughs> yeah, so it was cool just not to have to roll for veterancy and to just have it. I quite like that. Um, but that is the game, guys. So it is a. It is a German victory. The last couple of games have been German victories, but before that, me and James just drew against each other all the time. So it's, uh, it is starting to tip in uh, favour towards the Axis. Maybe the Yanks are going to have to come along and, uh, uh, or maybe James will have to take control of the Germans. We'll see. But James, thank you once again for having me down. Table looks beautiful as always, man. And uh, I'm, sure, I'm, sure you'll, I'm sure you'll get them next time. If you enjoyed that game, guys, make sure you like and you subscribe and all that kind of good stuff. And if you really enjoyed the video and you want to see more bot action content, then please consider becoming a channel member or Patreon supporter. As always, thank you for watching. And of course, I'll see you guys next time.